Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today in this video we will learn how to upload any Laravel project to your cPanel or how you can easily deploy your Laravel project on live server. For example, this is my Laravel e-commerce project and I have built this website using Laravel, Inertia.js and Vue.js. And as you can see this project hosted my Jam server and you can follow my previous video to install uh, Laravel project on your computer or install Jam server. And if you are a beginner, you can learn Laravel from beginning. You can follow the Laravel crude tutorial from my channel. So let's get started and before starting this video, please like, comment, share and subscribe the YouTube channel to get more updates. To upload the Laravel project on our server, you can follow some steps or you can follow the blog uh, from my website and I will provide you this link in the video description box below. You can follow these steps and we need to select 8.2 from our cPanel to run Laravel 11 on our server then active these extensions. So first of all go back to your uh, cPanel and if you don't have any cPanel you can follow my previous video to purchase a cPanel and then go to software and click on select PHP version and as you can see we have got some option and from here you can see your all domain list and I want to active and select php version for the domain and you can easily change the php version for the domain you can select it uh, from here but i don't want to change the php version i have already selected 8.2 then go to extensions and you can easily active and deactivate these extensions uh, from here and see these are our extensions okay then go to the next step uh, again open the blog and see ready to laravel project to upload on our cpanel so then open the gem server uh, gem server or you can go to your uh, folder project folder let's click on explorer and go to stdocs and here you can open your project so i want to upload the project and this is my project folder name and see these are our laravel project files and here you can run some command line to build your project perfectly also you can open your project from visual studio code and here you can use visual studio code terminal but i want to run windows powershell let's click on right button and click on open in terminal and go back to the blog and copy the command line from here click on copy we need to run the command line to public our storage folder and if you have any image and any file in the folder and it will be publicable or publicly accessible so that's why we need to run the command line and open the powershell hit enter and i did it that's why showing the error and then follow the next step and next step is npm run build let's copy the command line we need to build our view assets that's why we have to use the command line and then you can also use microsoft visual studio code terminal to run these commands or you can use microsoft powershell whatever you want so to run it go to terminal and click on new terminal and here you can type npm run build okay then hit enter and then as you can see now starting the building process so wait a few seconds and after successfully build the project then open the project folder so go to the project folder and this is my project folder in my xtdocs uh, folder from jamp so now we need to upload the folder in our server so before uploading we need to make the zip file uh, click on zip and wait a few seconds and then as you can see we have got the zip uh, file and now i wanna upload the folder from our cpanel and go to file manager from your cpanel and go to your public html folder or your uh, domain folder so this is my public html folder and i want to install the website in this domain so this domain is my primary domain and here you can click on upload and click on select file 
and just select the zip file and this is my zip file from stdocs so select it from here and click on open and then again wait a few seconds and we have successfully upload the zip file and click on this button and extract the zip file from your server or uh, public html folder okay we have successfully extracted the zip file but open the folder and we need to show some hidden file uh, for example dot env dot stxs or other dot file so click on settings from here and make sure you have checked this option then click on save then you can delete some unnecessary files or folders from your project file so uh, select it and i wanna delete it from here i don't need it then we need to move these files to our public HTML folder. Click on select all, then click on move button. And after that, you can select or uh, type your folder name. So my folder name is public HTML, then click on move. And this project successfully moved to our public HTML. And then you can delete your unnecessary files and folders uh, from here. So select it and click on delete. And that's all. And then you can edit your .env file to add your database name or database information but you can also go back to the blog and you can follow some step and here you can export your database information okay so uh, go back to your cpanel and edit the .env file and here you can type your uh, app name so you can type your website name or any name so for example i am typing um, app name equal and quotation take trigger okay so if you use space you have to uh, type quotation then our app environment production so type production and then app debug option you make it false if you run your project on live server but i wanna see some uh, error so that's why i, uh, I don't change this i will uh, set it later then type app url you can type your domain name so this is my domain name and if you visit your domain and as you can see these are our all project files but our website is not showing so copy the domain name and go back to your dot um, nv file and here you can easily paste it okay following the same process you can edit the dot nv file and then database connection mysql or uh, database host so uh, first of all uh, save the uh, file and then uh, we need to create our database information from cpanel so go back to your cpanel and go to that uh, database section and uh, you can uh, type your database name so i am typing my database name you can type anything whatever you want you can type some uh, unique name then click on go back and then we need to create our database user from here so go to database user tab and type your database user name and set the database uh, password so you can easily generate your database password from here so let's copy the database password and check it and click on save and click on create user okay then go back to here and here you can set your database username and database and click on add from your add user to database then check this option and click on save changes and go back to your .env file okay so go back to .env file and first of all i wanna paste my database name so what is your database name uh, sorry uh, paste database password and then database name and go back to your database manager and copy it from here and paste the database username and database name uh, following the same process then click on save changes 
so our first step is done uh, we have created database name and configured the database and then we need to import our database from our php my admin okay go to database section and click on php my admin uh, to import our database all tables and data okay then this is our database name and see uh, this database name is fully blank okay so first of all we need to export our database all table from our local server or from our jam uh, jam or from our jam local server click on uh, admin from mysql and this is my local host php my admin and then click on e-commerce inertia view i wanna export the uh, database and see these are our database all tables and first of all we need to select all tables or click on export button click on export from here then click on export button and see our database sql file is uh, downloaded and then we have to import our database from our uh, live server and go to uh, PHP my admin and click on import click on import button and click on or choose your database mysql file and this is the file we want to import then click on import button and as you can see we have successfully imported all database table okay but if you go to your website and if you reload it and see we don't have any output because of we need to uh, modify some option or move some folders so go back to your file manager or public html and here you can open your public folder so this is our public folder and here you will get some uh, files and folder in the public folder so uh, this is not public html this is the public folder okay in your project so in your project this is the public folder and we have got uh, some files and folder and click on select all and move all uh, folder to our public html so move it uh, from our uh, public folder okay and go to public html and make sure the index.php and .stxs file in your public html or root folder and if you reload this page or website and this page isn't working so this is our uh, another error and if you want to fix the error you have to uh, open or edit index.php file so let's click on write button then click on edit then again click on edit button and here you can set your uh, vendor autoload uh, file path also you have to set bootstrap app uh, file path because of the vendor and bootstrap folder in our root directory that's why we have to change the file and folder path okay so remove it and uh, set it uh, like that also you have to set the storage folder path like that then and then click on save changes and then we need to change our storage folder uh, permission so click on right button then then click on change permission from here and make sure you have to select double seven five okay so make sure you have uh, set the permission then click on change permission and also you have to open the bootstrap folder uh, click on your cache folder and click on change permission and make sure uh, change to 775 folder permission and that's it and if you visit your website uh, just reload it from here and as you can see we have got another error access denied don't worry this is the laravel cache error and that's why we don't access uh, the user so you have to clear your laravel cache so if you have ssh access from your cpanel you can run some command php artisan optimize clear for example if you visit your cpanel and from here you can uh, search ssh okay ssh access and click on ssh access 
but this hosting provider don't give me SSH access. So you can uh, uh, contact your hosting provider to get SSH access to uh, run your command uh, from SSH access uh, terminal. But don't worry, I have another solution. I wanna uh, make the project files and folder a zip file. So select all and click on compress. So I wanna make zip file or zip archive. And then uh, you can change the uh, project uh, zip file name. So I am typing the uh, name. You can type uh, anything. So I wanna make it, then click on it and wait a few seconds and then download the zip file from here click on download so now downloading the project uh, file and extract the zip file again from your winrar software so i am extracting the production project folder and click on open and again uh, click on right button and click on open in terminal so now you can run any command line uh, for the project so type php artisan uh, optimize colon clear okay that's it and click and then hit enter and as you can see we have successfully clear all uh, cache and views or routing cache so this is the solution if you don't have any access uh, for ssh from your hosting provider so then again uh, select all files and folder and again make the project uh, zip file and type or select zip and type your project name and this is our optimized uh, folder or file then again make the zip file and go back to your cpanel and delete old files from here so i have already deleted all old files from here go to your public html and delete all files and then click on upload and again uh, upload the zip file uh, optimized zip file okay so open the optimized zip file select it from here then click on open and again extract the zip file and wait a few seconds and as you can see we have successfully extracted our all files and folder and if you visit your domain name and as you can see we have got another error this is uh, not my old error this is our new error uh, manifest uh, json error and build don't worry we can easily fix the error just uh, copy the manifest json file in our uh, public folder so how to do it uh, go to your uh, public html folder and in the public html this is our build folder so let's copy the build folder click on right button and click on copy and type your uh, public folder name so public html slash public so in the uh, public folder we need to uh, copy our uh, build folder and open the public and see this is our build folder and delete asset folder from here we don't need it we need only many first json file okay so you can follow these steps from our uh, website then again reload this page and as you can see we have successfully uploaded our uh, website and our website is uh, fully live and if you click on buy now button and my functionalities is now working and click on order now and see this functionality is also working and we have got our all images files everything and this is the process how you can easily upload your any laravel project or live your laravel project on your server so thanks for watching this video if you like this video please like comment share and subscribe the youtube channel to get more updates